Okay, Brian, this video is for you. Um, you sent me your radio to do some upgrades on, so I uh, I did the Crossfire mod, which required me to take the radio apart and install a little chip. <clears throat> uh, and then I also put in new gimbals. These are the M7 Hall Effect gimbals. Um, one thing to note is your old gimbals, the sticks are a different size. Um, I think these are smaller. Uh, so the new ones are an M4 size. So you're going to need to get new stick-ins because these stick-ins are not going to work on the new gimbals. Um, what else? Oh, okay. So, yeah, I did the Crossfire mod because you want to start running Crossfire. So um, I'm going to show you how it works. So what I did was I put on the newest firmware, which is uh, OpenTX 2.3. Um, so if we go into the menu here, go to version and you can see it's 2.3. It just came out three days ago. Uh, I'm not sure what RC it is. It doesn't say, it usually says, but I think it might be the first one, RC1. Um, so this is a little bit different than what I'm used to. I don't even have 2.3 on my radio yet. I think I'm going to put it on there now though. But uh, if you have, if you use the, the Crossfire module, the micro, which is what you have, uh, you have to use the Lua script to access everything instead of just using the screen on like the full size Crossfire. So uh, it's a little bit different in 2.3. In older versions of OpenTX, what you would do is hold down the button, push page one time, and then you'd go down to firmware and then in there it would say crossfire and you click on that and then it would go to it but now what you do is hold down the middle button and then page over to page three where it says tools and you can see here number one is crossfire config so that's where you want to go so click on that and then it automatically brings it up and this is where you would do your binding and stuff so um you know you plug in your quad and then push the bind button on the receiver then you would go in here and click bind and it would start binding it would bind right up and then once you did that if you went back to here after it's bound up underneath micro tx it'll say uh nano rx or micro rx or whatever and and that's where your other settings will be in there so but micro tx is where you would do your binding and fail set fail safe and the power and all that stuff uh, 100 milliwatts, so it must be on an older firmware. I guess I could update the firmware for you on the the Crossfire module too Because the newer one will do 250 milliwatts So I'll go ahead and do that for you before I ship this back but Yeah, everything else is done. All your models are still there as you can see uh, I made one more new one model number 48 Crossfire So yeah, it's ready to go um, for the gimbals, you might want to adjust them. I don't know. I kind of tried to set it to how they were before. Um, the throttle is a little bit loose. It's how I like it. Um, and the gimbals, you know, they're, they're pretty close to how your old ones were. But, you know, if you want to set them however you want, you know, it's just the two screws inside on those metal strips. Uh, so you, you're going to have to take the back off and then, you know, tighten or loosen the screws to adjust the gimbals but they feel pretty nice to me right now anyway uh that should do it hopefully something in this video helps you um uh, all right that's it